Pubgoers.com be the hub of your pub. Today, Pubgoers will be at the Standing Stone Brewery in beautiful downtown Ashland, Oregon. Hello, Pubgoers. This is Casey, and I'm here at the Standing Stone Brewery in Ashland, Oregon with Danielle, who is co owner and manager of the pub. Um, so, I'm here this week to visit my mother in Ashland, and she told me I had to come down to the Standing Stone Brewery, um, who brews their own beer. Yes. And has a fantastic menu. Thank you. So, do you want to talk about um, what kind of beers you have on tap? What you brew here? Maybe some other beers you don't brew here that you sell? Sure. Let Let's see here. Um, we actually all the beer that we sell here, we make here. Um, we always have about a, a cream ale. Usually have it something like an amber nut brown. We always have an IPA and a double IPA. They are definitely our biggest sellers here. And then we usually have something on nitro. So sometimes it's a nitro stout, sometimes we'll do a quarter. And then of course seasonal. So like right now we have a wet hopped amber with a local hops. Okay. And we also have a rye pale ale. So we just switch it around depending on the season, depending on what our brewer wants to brew. What's the biggest seller right now for all the beers? Double IPA. Double IPA. Yeah. What does the double part mean? I can guess, but it's not it's, the size, it's right? It's double the hops, not double the size. Okay. Double the hops. Not double the alcohol? No. Okay. But it, is, it does have a higher alcohol content than like a regular IPA. Now, for some of the seasonal varieties, mm -hmm. um, do you have any winter varieties that you sell to? Any kind of doppel box or? We do. Every once in a while we do... Um, that we also um, one of our big sellers that we've done in the past and we just started putting them in whiskey barrels last year was our barley wine oh. and that has been huge and alcohol, really right? fun yeah they are that is a high alcohol beer and we actually just serve it in a wine glass and we don't do any um, filling up to go bottles on that one what's the alcohol content on it um, I'm gonna say around 12 percent I, I would have it would be a lie to tell you. I know for sure. I'd have to check in with our brewer. It's up there, though, right? It is up there. So you do have beer to go probably in growlers? Yes, exactly. What we size? have liter and half-gallon bottles. And how much do they cost? To, um, to fill a, well, both of the bottles, unless you want to bring your own, or $5 for the bottle. And then to fill a liter is $6, and to fill a half-gallon is $11. Fantastic. So the beer probably is what brings the people in, I'm guessing, right? Definitely. Yes. Um, the menu itself, now, I heard about, is there a buffalo? burger or something We do, like that? yeah. We have a buffalo burger that's served with local bison from the Applegate Valley. Um, our menu is pretty large, pretty varied, but everything focuses on um, local and organic ingredients as much as possible. Our chef is down at the farmer's market all the time. Um, all of our meat purveyors are local, and we're always just moving towards more and more. What are some of the local. big sellers on the menu? Oh, I would say like our standing stone cheeseburger, our buffalo burger. We have a lot of entree sized salads that are very popular. We have a wood fired oven that you probably saw. Yep. And with the smell pizza. right when it came in. Yeah, exactly, with pizzas. Um, so I think we have a really eclectic mix of things that sell a lot. Perfect. So. What about the history of the place? Um, yeah. When did you buy into it? How long has it been here? Um, standing stone's been open for 12 years. My um, husband and brother-in-law actually found the building. Um, my brother-in-law had a background in culinary. My husband was home brewing in his basement, and it all kind of came together with a lot, of, with a lot of love and hard work. Um, I'm actually, no, we're all spread out. Okay. Pennsylvania, San Francisco, I'm from Boise, Idaho. And you all met here. <laughs> exactly. This was, this was the place, so. Is there any special events here, like live music or improv or anything like yeah. that? We do like we do have live music during the summer months. We have live music on our back deck okay. that plays. It's usually jazz from two to four every Sunday, and then the first Friday and Saturday of every month we have live music, whether it's a flamingo band or a swing band. How about special items for the staff or special events for the staff? You are mentioning something earlier and you wanted yeah. to mention that. Yeah, so. uh, we have all kinds of fun stuff as far as our staff goes, but our, um, our biggest event that we have done in a long time, and we're so excited about this, is that we just purchased 17 Kona asphalt bikes for employees that have worked for us for over a thousand hours and we're committed to riding their bikes to work for 45 days or more in a year. How many days is a thousand hours quick? 
It's about six months full time okay. or uh, one year part time. Right, perfect. How's that? That's good. That's yeah. Better so, than me. <laughs> so we have almost sixty employees, and we had seventeen sign up for this program. So we all did a bike parade from Ashland Bicycle Works to Standing Stone on Wednesday. We're we're riding now. Yeah. Any kind of uh, community activities that you're involved with here, um, or oh, the the pub? Tons. Well. Um, not only are all the owners personally involved in our community on different boards and um, committees, but Standing Stone, we, as far as giving goes, our employees actually pick charities that we do a beer donation program to. So for a seasonal ale, we Beer donation, I like that. Is that okay. direct donation of beer to the... No, that's what I was <laughs> afraid you were going to say. <laughs> Um, no, so for every pint of our seasonal that's sold, 25 cents goes to that chosen charity. Okay. So that's probably our um, most consistent thing, but of course we give through multiple donations and avenues that way. Um, we're always involved in Car Free Day, which is part of the City of Ashland and our Bicycle Ped Commission. And after enough beers, it would definitely be Car Free Day, right? Where you Naturally. shouldn't be driving. Or on your bicycle. Or on your bicycle, <laughs> let alone your free bicycle that's, for the thousand dollars. That's right, that's right. Um, what do you like about Ashland, having the pub set up here? Because uh -huh. I know it's a beautiful environment. I've been here a few times for the Shakespeare Festival. That must be a huge draw for your place. Oh, it's huge. Um, well, Ashland is an amazing town. One, we are every we are so lucky to live here. Um, we have a lot of great restaurants. We have a lot of great coffee shops, outdoor activities, and Standing Stone. I think we have a really great location here because um, we are in the downtown, but we're slightly off the beaten path, so people can find us. We're not in a really touristy area. And, I think that um, we have a really good draw of both locals and tourists alike. And um, You drew me in here, so obviously the tourists don't work out. What's the location, by the way? What's the address? We're at 101 Oak Street in downtown Ashland. So Oak we're Street. about a block off the plaza. And what kind of clientele do you get in here? What kind of locals and what kind of tourists? Obviously the tourists would Everything. be here for arts, crafts, Shakespeare festivals. The locals themselves, eclectic, out there, what are they Definitely. like? Definitely. Um, you know, it just depends on... You know, for lunch, we get a ton of people from the city, from SOU, from the professors, to a ton of families. We have toy shelves for the kids, and um, we get a little bit of everything. Perfect. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to say before we sign off? I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. A last-minute plug, maybe. Come on down. Free beer for anyone who drops in. <laughs> <laughs> Come see our new bikes. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.